So one student wrote an email to me saying, Hey Casper, what's the difference between the Park defense and the King's Indian defense? Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that would be a very weird way to start this video. Anyways, I'm going to tell you and since this video is sponsored by no one, let's begin. Now before I explain the main difference between the two, I have a surprise for you towards the end of this video. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's go. Alright, so in general, the main difference between the Perk Defense and the King's Indian is a white C pawn. Let me explain. If it is on C4, then that is probably the King's Indian Defense. But if it sits back on C2 or C3, that would be the Perk Defense. For example, if you go pawn to D6 and then white plays pawn to C4, this may lead to the King's Indian Defense normal variation all because of this pawn on c4. While the perk defense is where white doesn't have this pawn on c4, for example, this happens in the e4 opening where white plays pawn to e4, and then you go knight to f6, let's say knight c3, defending the pawn, then you go g6, knight f6, bishop g7. This is just the perk defense classical variation, so it's all about the c4 pawn. I want to show you another sideline opening that resemble the two and the positions that you should expect in the middle game. So another defense that is so confusing is the modern defense, which can be played against the king's pawn or the queen's pawn game. For example, you can start with pawn to e4, then instead of playing d6 right away, you go pawn to g6. This is called the modern defense. This differs from the kid and the perk in that we delay the development of our king's knight. We don't even think about it in the opening stage. For example, after the top played move pawn to d4, we go bishop g7 and if knight c3, the top played move according to the master's database, this is when we go pawn to d6. We are just controlling our e5 square, ensuring that white doesn't put a pawn on that square. If bishop e3, Again, you don't have to memorize anything. You can play all sorts of moves like pawn to a6, the top played move in the master's database, which Magnus Carlsen also likes. You just have to play that. It's good. You can also play pawn to c6. Yeah, knight to f6 if you want to take things back into the perk defense or the rat move knight d7. Maybe in the future you want to go pawn to e5. That's also good. They play queen d2, the top played move. I wouldn't mind going pawn to e5 here. But anyways, pawn to a6 or c6 is very important to control the b5 and the d5 squares. If knight to f3, the top played move. Again, I don't want to develop my king's knight because that will block my dark squared bishop. This is the modern bishop. So I'd rather go pawn to b5, start expanding on the queen side. I have all sorts of moves that I can play once again. A6, A5, E5, Knight B6, Bishop B7, or even Queen C7 just to delay Knight to F6 as long as I can. Waiting to see where White wants to castle to. For example, they can castle short. That's when I can play Knight to F6 or pawn to E5. Or if they castle long, this is when I can continue marching forward and play Rook B8. Pawn to A5 is coming. For example, G4. I can go Knight G F6 if I want or pawn to E6 or A5. Or let's just say Knight G F6. If h4 comes, I don't just have to take the g pawn, it's not mine. If they play g5, I have knight h5, deal done. And I can also play pawn to c5 right away, breaking through the center. The purpose of playing pawn to c5, by the way, is to open up the c file for my queen and my rook, like what we do in the Sicilian defense. So you can view this as the delayed Sicilian defense kind of. That's why pawn to c5 pawn break is very important than going pawn to e5 in the modern defense and the game may continue. So this is how you play the modern defense. If white plays pawn to d4 on the second move. Now, what if they start with pawn to d4? Well, once again, you can just go pawn to g6. Not thinking of developing your king's knight very early in the opening stage again. Pawn to e4. You know what to do. Just go d6. And continue expanding on the queen side. Anyways, but what if white plays pawn to c4 on move 2 instead of pawn to e4? Let's say pawn to c4. Again, you can just go bishop g7. This is my favorite, by the way. I want my bishop to continue covering this diagonal. Again, I don't know why, but most people play knight c3. After which, I like going pawn to c5. Magnus Carlsen likes playing this line against d4. He played it in 2017 against Ding Li Ren and won a beautiful game. You can see the top played move is pawn to d5. Now you have an option to go pawn to d6 if you want, but the main line is bishop takes c3. You 
first of all mess up white's pawn structure on the queen side and go pawn to d6 this is okay they play pawn to e4 once again you can go knight to f6 if you want and cast a shot but there's no reason to do that if you have many other options for example i love pawn to e5 because it has a higher win rate for black as you can see for yourselves in the masters database this is what people play in over the board games you can see 89 percent win rate this is something that you don't see the top played move is bishop d3 but hey let's start with a challenging move pawn to f4 whenever you see pawn to f4 in the king's indian defense perk defense modern defense or even the check benoni we advise to take on f4 to simplify the game and then start controlling the e5 square with your pieces like your knight to join the party you can start with queen h4 check just to provoke some weakness on the king side and then you play queen e7 attacking white spawn on e4 if bishop d3 the top played move now you go knight to f6 you can cast a shot if you want to on the next move or play knight bd7 and put your knight on that square so this is the modern defense for you against c4 let's go back a little bit and see what else white can do after they play pawn to e4 and then we play pawn to e5 so we saw what happens if white plays pawn to f4 we just take that f4 pawn but what if they take with ampersand when you look carefully we still have our light squad bishop on c8 which is not yet developed so rather than taking with a pawn we want to develop a piece while attacking and this kind of looks like a big pawn you can see this wave of pawns on the center and this bishop acts like a big beautiful pawn which is why i like this variation as well if bishop d3 now you can go knight d7 if you want knight c6 it all depends with the plan that you come up at the end of the day you guys the best planner wins so stop relying on memorization i keep on preaching about this stop depending on your memorization skills start planning and the easiest way to plan is to think of the active squares where to put your pieces i mean where your pieces are going to have full potential attacking many squares or controlling many things at once another defense that looks like the perk defense or the king's indian defense or the modern defense is the rat defense which i covered briefly in my last video now see you guys i have a free mini course on the rat defense which is about one hour 30 minutes long all you have to do is to sign up for my free masterclass, and you will get that free mini course it is well explained and i have a lot of positive feedback make sure to check it out the link is in the comment section down below or in the description you can also find it on my website casperchess.com and there you can also buy my other courses i highly recommend the gioco pianissimo or the gioco pianissimo italian opening for people who want to improve their chess seriously and also check out my english opening course anyways you can play the right defense against d4 or e4 if you want to know more you can watch my video which i posted like two days ago so white may start with pawn to d4 and you go pawn to d6 as you can see in the masters database when you play this opening in over the board games there's a higher chance for white to go back to e4 which is the second most played move and now this has transposed back to the perk defense where you can go knight to f6 if you want but the rat defense is where you play the immediate knight d7 the whole idea is just to go pawn to e5 and avoid the exchange of queens since your knight is sitting in front of your queen let's say white plays knight to f3 the top played move this is when you can go right away pawn to e5 which is the right defense you guys the idea is that if pawn takes you can simply take back with your d pawn there's no trade of queens you're warm and dry but you need to be very careful whenever you see bishop c4 first of all there's a possibility of knight g5 so you need to be very careful in this line three moves that you don't ever want to play are knight to f6 bishop e7 or pawn to h6 if you play bishop e7 which is a blunder white has queen d5 immediately and this can be so deceiving ali reza ferroja once won the game like this against the 2400 look at this he played queen d5 that's the move because now the idea is just to mate on f7 done there's nothing you can do knight h4 doesn't work due to this trade and they're going to take on f7 you are you are done there's nothing you can do about it again after bishop c4 the move that you don't want to play is knight to f6 thinking you're stopping queen d5 this is rubbish because white can play knight g5 and there is no defense for this so in the opening stage you need to be a little bit careful again pawn to h6 loses on the spot because of the same tactic queen d5 or even better bishop takes f7 because if you take back they'll play knight takes 
takes e5. I mean, you can't even take back because you will lose your queen. So you just need to get used to these moves. This is the only part in the rat defense or in the filido defense worth mastering. So what is the move to play in this position? You can write this down. Bishop c4 equals to pawn to c6. That's one because that stops queen d5 immediately. But the best that I recommended in my rat defense video immediately is bishop c5. But first of all, you have to give a check on b4 like this, bishop b4 check, provoking the move pawn to c3. By doing so, you are delaying the development of white's knight. So this is when you play bishop c5. This is very good because now if white plays queen d5, because your dark squad bishop is already out and it's not on e7, you can safely guard your f7 pawn with queen e7, done. If knight g5 by white, you can just go knight at 6, you will cast a shot and play pawn to c6 to chase that queen away. You don't want to entertain your enemy's pieces in your territory. That's how you fight bishop c4 ladies and gentlemen. So be very careful whenever you see bishop c4 in the rat defense, alright. You can also play the right defense against d4. For example, after d4, you still got d6. This time, if they play c4 instead of pawn to e4, which we looked at, let's say c4, you can still go knight d7, preparing to go pawn to e5 right away. And if knight c3, the top played move, this is when you go pawn to e5. If they play knight to f3, they don't have to take, by the way. You have so many ways to kill a rat. You can go pawn to c6. You can go g6, h6, or even better, knight gf6. See that we have only developed our king's knight after developing our queen's knight. So that's one goal that I emphasized on in my last video. If pawn to e4, now you go bishop e7. Let's say bishop e2. You cast a shot if you want. Or play pawn to c6. You don't have to memorize anything. Just come up with your better plan. So this is against d4 and c4. You can watch my last video once again. And a little surprise that I want to give you guys before I end this video is the delayed rat defense. This is where you can delay the move order pawn to d6 and knight d7 by starting with pawn to a6. I made two videos about this move to show how it completely destroys d4 on the first move. For example, pawn to d4, you go pawn to a6. You can see in the master's database, this has a high win rate for black. After a6, white is more likely to go back to e4, a walk of shame. And that's the top played move, by the way, after which you can go pawn to d6. If knight to f3, I like getting rid of my light squared bishop immediately by pinning the knight and also taking and continue playing. But let's say knight to c3. The whole idea is to play the right defense with knight d7. Once again, there are good scores as you can see. Black wins most of the times. If knight to f3, I have pawn to e5. That's the main idea of knight d7. If d takes e5, again, I can just take back. If bishop c4, once again, remember, this is what I talked about. Pawn to h6, knight gf6, and bishop e7 are all blunders because of queen d5 and knight takes e5 by white. So this is why you can play pawn to c6 or bishop c5. Remember what I said. If at all these things make sense to you guys, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Allow me to appreciate and thank the following patrons who sponsor my channel and some of the extra works that I do on Patreon. Vivek, Mike, Alan, Bassam, Adrian, David, Dwayne, Sean, Eric, and the rest of the guys that you are seeing on the screen right now. You can see the list goes on and on. These are the guys who keep this channel running and active out of their love they support our casper chess group financially i give them extra materials that i don't post on youtube to thank all of these guys in style thank you for supporting my channel once again and yep one of my supportive members is samson simpson thank you guys if you want to become part of the casper chess community you can simply follow me on patreon and become a member all right that's it for today i hope you enjoyed watching this video until next time bye bye